From the account of a former associate of Keith Ellison, we learn that during Ellison's 2006 run for the United States Congress, his campaign came to the point of falling completely apart. The news of his many traffic tickets, his unpaid taxes, and the accusations of domestic abuse against Amy Alexander, a woman he had an affair with, were destroying any chances of him winning the election. A pollster told him he needed 10,000 fresh new votes or he was done. Ellison went to the Somali community and he got those votes. Recently, we published a video showing Keith Ellison giving credit to the Somali community for putting him in Congress. This prompts the question, who is Keith Ellison now beholden to? We speculated who that might be. Is it the mosque in Burnsville? Jalani Hussein? from Hamas, also known as Care, or is it Walid al manasse the Imam of the Bloomington Mosque, or maybe all of the above? It seems we now have at least part of the answer. Walid al manasse has notably published a picture of Keith Ellison visiting his office. Ellison needs votes. It's obvious he has gone back to his Muslim alliance to ask again for their undivided backing, and they seem to be working hard to deliver it. Salaam alaikum wa la ilaha illa Allah shi'i odeya. You have sent me to the United States Congress because of your votes. I became the first Muslim to be a member of Congress. Who is Walid al -Manasse? He is one of the most dangerous foreigners residing in America today. al -Manasse is a senior member of the Permanent Fatwa Committee of the Assembly of Muslim Jurists in America. Fatwas are rulings that Muslim jurists pass in accordance with Islamic Sharia law. Fatwas are generated and issued from within a Sharia court, which is considered an illegal Islamic system if operated within the United States. Don't think the usage of the word jurist means that these people are educated in American law. These Muslim jurists specialize in Quran recitings and Islamic law, also known as Sharia law, which is incompatible with the laws of the United States and the U.S. Constitution. Islamic law forbids criticism of anything Islam considers sacred. An example would be criticism of the Quran or of their prophet Muhammad. Islamic law also approves of the stoning and the beheading of apostates and of infidels. The Bloomington Imam, Amanase, is one of the Supreme Court judges who sits on this Islamic Council. He takes part in issuing Islamic rulings that affect the lives of millions of Muslims. The same person has been openly campaigning for Keith Ellison and Ilhan Omar using his clerical position and his influence. On July 22nd of this year, al Manasse, in a writing in Arabic on Facebook, called for Minnesota Muslims to support Keith Ellison and Ilhan Omar so they can ensure that the demands of the Muslims will be pursued in government through these Muslim politicians. Using Facebook's translation, the following can be read of his appeal. Muslims in Minnesota are a quarter of a million Muslims. Unfortunately, in previous elections, the majority of Muslims did not participate in elections. But by Allah's permission, we want starting from this election this year for Muslims to have an impressive voice and for candidates to know that Muslim leaders in Minnesota, when they choose a candidate and when they ask Muslims to line up behind him and elect him, he will monitor with Allah's permission a significant number of electoral votes making that they make sure to listen to Muslim demands and pursue them until they win Muslim voices, especially that this year 
there is a consensus between Muslim leaders in the state and the foundation, which represents the union of mosques, to select these three candidates. Muslim brother Keith Ellison for state prosecutor of Minnesota, Muslim sister Ilhan Omar for the post of congressman, Aaron Murphy for state governor. All candidates were interviewed for these three positions and Muslim leaders found that these three candidates are the most candidates in support of Muslims and in support of their demands and keen to fight against Islamophobia. Will the ACLU and the IRS get involved and question this Imam? Why is a Muslim cleric campaigning for Keith Ellison and Ilhan Omar using his position of Imam? Is he a religious leader, a judicial leader, or a political leader? Or is he all three? Imam Walid al Manasse is well known to the FBI. In 2016, Adnan Farah, a Minnesota Somali, pleaded guilty to conspiring to provide material support to the Islamic State. He attended the mosque in Bloomington, known for producing jihadists. Anand Farrar is one of five men in a group of Somali Americans. All were refugees or sons of refugees but the government charged all these men in this case. And where did Anand Farrar and his brother learn about Islam? Well, both attended the Al Farouk Islamic Center in Bloomington, Minnesota, a mosque led by a radical, vile imam, Walid al Manasse. It is disturbing to know men such as Walid al Manasse can continue spreading their hateful, racist, militant ideology while campaigning for state candidates Keith Ellison and Ilhan Omar. The silence of the mainstream media in Minnesota regarding Walid al Manasse's dangerous activities is a total cover up. The jihadist imam's demonstrative campaigning for Democrats such as Keith Ellison and Ilhan Omar should alert many government institutions and civil liberties organizations. Thank you for watching. Please share this video with every Minnesota voter.